Welcome to ORUGoldenEagles.com coverage of 2012-13 Women's Basketball Media Day event. I'm Eric Scott, and we're joined by three-time Summit League Player of the Year, Kevy Looper. You're, you've accomplished just about everything a college basketball a college basketball player can do in a career, except make the NCAA tournament. How important is, is it for you to get things done this year? Yeah, I mean, we want to make the NCAA tournament. That's been the goal ever since I've been here, me and JC and Savannah. Um, but, I mean... As important as it is to us, you know, we're more focused on each game as it comes to us. You know, we're going to play hard and we're going to leave it all on the court. And, you know, if we do that, we should get to to the NCAA tournament. You obviously know Coach Cousin from well as her time as assistant coach, uh, but now she's the one in charge. Uh, how is the team different uh, with her as the leader? Um, honestly, I feel like the team is a lot more intense and focused than it has been since I've been here. Um, you know, we love Coach Missy. I personally love the way she coaches. I love her style. I love her enthusiasm, and I love the coaching staff she has behind her. Overall, I mean, I just think it's awesome. I love it. Uh, your team has quite, uh, quite a lot of new faces this year, but there are also plenty of veterans uh, who have a chance to play a bigger role in this year's team. Uh, playing against them every day, which of your teammates do you think is uh, ready to play a bigger role on the team this year? Um, I think that Deddy Bala is ready to, you know, fill those shoes that she's been trying to fill. And, you know, she did a great job last year. And it's just, Deddy is so good. And, like, people don't even know how good she is. That's how good she is. Um, so I think that she's definitely going to be stepping into a bigger role this year. And as a freshman, I think that Taylor Cooper is going to be playing a major role for us. Um, you know, she has a great, she can score really well. And, you know, she's a good, hard player. So, I mean, I think those two will be the biggest impacts for us. Well, thanks for joining us today, Kevy. And we'll be right back here on ORUGoldenEagles.com with JC Bigham. ORU has an incredible balance of the classes and the teachers, they really, you get a good education, but it teaches you a lot of principles, a lot of really the whole person, whether it's socially, physically, um, spiritually, just in every aspect, whether it's through the chapels, whether it's through worship, whether it's through the student body. You do have the opportunity to go into every person's world because you've been trained in education, you have the knowledge, you have the degree, but also your spiritual life, your spiritual maturity, it really trains that from the other end of things. I think one thing that captures me about ORU is just the opportunities that goes beyond the classes, the outside programs, whether it's ORU missions, whether it's ORU you know, student leadership opportunities as you're either serving or participating or leading in those areas. I think it just really teaches, it's taught me a lot, even in just you know my two years here now. Welcome back to Women's Basketball Media Day. I'm here with senior J.C. Bigham. You were in all-conference selection your first two seasons, and then a bulky knee, knee held you down a bit last season. Talk about what it's like to play through an injury like the one you dealt with last season, and tell us how the knee is, the knee is feeling heading into your senior season. Um, yeah, last season was definitely one of my most frustrating years. Um, it's, it's really challenging physically, obviously, but uh, the mental aspect is something you have to deal with too. So um, I learned a lot. Um, I'm feeling much better with my knees. Um, so hopefully this year we'll just be smooth sailing with that. Uh, you've done three tours of duty in the Summit League, uh, but now as a senior you're headed into a new, uh, completely new conference. Uh, tell about the adjustment of playing in the new league in, in your final season. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, everything's new, new competition, uh, different places we're going. I'm excited about the, the travel. Um, we won't have to be traveling as far, so that'll be good for our legs and just rest-wise. So um, I'm excited. You know, everything's new, new coaching staff, um, everything. So uh, I'm excited about the whole experience. Which new Southland Conference rival are you more excited about playing this season? You know, I don't, we don't know what to expect yet. We don't know who's going to be our biggest rival. Um, I think that's something you get from just, you know, playing your first round and, and seeing, you know, who's going to give you the most trouble and, and what atmosphere is the hardest to play in. So um, I don't know that we have any preconceived notions of that. I think we're just going to go in and, and see what comes. Uh, like Kevy, you've accomplished a ton in your career, uh, but you're still looking for that first NCAA tournament appearance. Uh, what will it take for you guys to get it done this season? Um, I think it's going to take what we've been doing. Uh, this preseason and um, leading up into our first couple of games here, it has been intense. Like our practices have have really just taken it up a notch, and um, with the new coaching staff and, and all the new um, 
it's drills and, and it's everything that we're doing. I think that is really going to take us up just in mindset and physicality, and, and I really think it's going to put us over the edge. Cool. Well, thank you, JC, for joining us on uh, oreugoldeneagles.com. We are wholly dedicated to seeing the whole picture, to serving the whole world, to experiencing a whole world of opportunities. For a university founded on the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. Back for more Women's Basketball Media Day, and we're joined by senior Savannah Buck. This is a huge senior, huge season for this program, but especially for you being a senior. What are you most looking forward to in your final season? Definitely looking forward to um, leading this team for sure and winning in a new conference. Um, that'd be a great way to go out and definitely making it to the NCAA tournament this year. Uh, you played in a lot of big games in your first three seasons against a ton of elite, elite level opponents, including Kansas, Baylor, and Oklahoma State. Uh, and Wisconsin and many others. What what is your uh, f what's your favorite road trip from your first three seasons, and what do you uh, and where are you most looking forward to visiting this season? I would have to say definitely Wisconsin because we beat Wisconsin. Um, that was just and just the atmosphere up there is completely different from anything I've ever known down here in the South. Um, I would have to say Baylor definitely is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, of course, we're going in as the complete underdog, but uh, just learning from that game and just making everybody as proud as we possibly can in that game. And I mean, losing isn't the only option, so I'm excited to get down there. Uh, we've asked other seniors, and we'll ask you too. Uh, what would it mean to get uh, to get into the NCAA tournament for the first time in your final season? It would mean the world to me, obviously, um, but that's not my only focus this year. My main focus is just to enjoy every moment with the girls and the coaches my last year. So, uh, Well, Savannah, thanks for stopping by today, and that concludes our Women's Basketball Media Day interviews. The Golden Eagles open their season on October 29th with the next ex exhibition contest against Harding. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m., and you can watch it live right here at ORUGoldenEagles.com.